Hey, my name is Mike Acosta from ADSR Sounds. And in this particular video, we're gonna be talking about acoustical room treatment, which I think is something that a lot of producers, artists, musicians tend to overlook when they're building out their home studio spaces. In this video, we'll also be taking a look at a time-lapse video of the entire install process. I'll show you the before, the actual installation process, and the end results using the Aurelex Sonolite panels. I think you're gonna enjoy this one. It should be really interesting, so let's get started. I used to use the Studio Phone products, but this time I decided to upgrade to the Sonolite panels. And let me explain why. So this is a Sonolite panel, and at the core of the Sonolite panel, it still uses Aurelex's high quality studio foam product. So inside, it's still the high quality studio foam product. But on the outside here, it's actually covered with a nice velour fabric. Now, obviously this adds a much more upgraded aesthetic look to your studio, which is great. The velour fabric is really nice. It protects the foam. And actually on the back, you have like a plastic coating backing. And this is a really, really key feature for me because it has this plastic kind of coating on the back here. You can actually use, well, I use the 3M double-sided adhesive tape and you can place them on the back here. And if you have to take the panels off, it's not gonna damage your walls and it definitely is not gonna pull chunks of foam, you know, out of your panels, which is awesome. So if you have to move from studio space to, to another studio space, then this might be a better option if you wanna protect your investment more long-term. So that's why I decided to go with the Sonolite panels and they've actually turned out really, really great. The room sounds good and I have no problems at all with them. So as you can see, I'm uh, using double-sided tape on the panels. Now, Aurelex does provide some uh, double-sided adhesive tape, but I've found that 3M uh, double-sided adhesive tape seems to be a bit more forgiving if you mess up and you need to readjust the panels a bit. And you definitely want to use the panels that you get in more of the mid to upper portions of your walls. Now, obviously, if you have more panels and can cover more of the bottom sections, then go for it. But if you're on a budget, you probably only have a certain amount of panels. So you wanna focus that on the mid to upper portions of your walls as that's gonna be more important. Um, same thing with the base traps. But if you do have the budget and you have more panels, then by all means, cover as much as you can all the way to the bottom if you want. Another thing too is make sure your walls are clean and free of like dust particles or anything like that. That could cause the adhesive tape to not bond properly. So just kind of get a feather duster, wipe down your walls a bit, and make sure that they're really clean before you start putting any of the adhesive tape and the panels on the wall. Now, once you place a panel on the wall, it's usually a good idea to put some slight pressure against it for about 30 seconds to a minute to allow for the adhesive tape to bond and cure a bit.
Um, like I said, super happy with the Oralex Sonolite panels. It sounds great in here, and the install process was pretty simple to do. Make sure you go on over to the Oralex site and check out all the really great products that they have. They do have stuff for commercial facilities. If you do want to soundproof a room, they have all the stuff to do that as well. I get a lot of people that ask me questions, and yes, there is a difference. Uh, using these panels does not soundproof your room. It just treats the sound from bouncing all around the place in your room, but it doesn't soundproof the room. They do have materials and things for the construction to actually do that if you want to do that. And you can check that out on the Oralex site. But these panels are primarily designed, again, to just treat the room uh, for acoustic problems with sound bouncing all over the place and keeping everything nice and tight and so that you can make proper mix decisions. And before you go, make sure you subscribe below to the ADSR YouTube channel so that you're constantly up to date with all of our first look videos, quick tip tutorials, and full-on courses. My name is Mike Acosta, and thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.